folks, I'm UltraZilla and today I have a review of the Transformers Studio Series Monster Devastator. Oh my god, from my least favorite Transformers Bayverse movie, Revenge of the Fallen. Um, yeah, we got the giant Monster Devastator. And I call him Monster Devastator because that's what this is. That's how it was portrayed. It was portrayed as a giant kaiju monster um and you know more like a king kong than a actual devastator you know it, this this is not no g1 devastators for sure but it was pretty cool did take me like a few minutes to get used to it a few minutes meaning years <laughs> but uh i finally did and once i i did i'm like man i love this design and when they said they were going to do studio series of this. I was like, yeah, I got to get it. I got to get it. And it took like, what, a year to complete? A little more than a year to complete all the parts. Um, they didn't release them all at once. And, and I'm glad about that uh, in a way because it was pricey. You got leader classes. You got Voyager classes. In the end, though, I, I'm glad uh, that the final piece, which was Overload here, uh, actually just cost me 30 bucks on Target. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but, uh, at Target, you know, I, I don't know why, uh, you know, like, and it's a leader class figure, um, but they had it for less. So if you're looking for it right now, you know, scout out your targets because 30 bucks instead of 50 bucks is, uh, definitely welcome, especially when you've spent so much already on this thing. Um, but man, as you can see, it is hulking. It is giant. Uh, it is the biggest thing that I've ever put on. <laughs> my turntable here and i'm like really uh glad it's it's turning fine and not skipping not doing anything um and and it's holding well there you know it gets a little bit wobbly here and there um depending on how you stand it because look at all this mass um uh, but yeah it is it is pretty cool guys so let's do the review proper but wait wait let's not do the review proper because if you're looking for anything other than a review of what you see here, this is not the review for you because there's no transforming, there's no combining here to be done. I am looking at this as one piece from the very beginning. All I wanted was this, this. I never paid attention to any of the individual bots here. So apologies, but let's do this. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is something I, I did uh, to make this, uh, well, to compensate for losing the hook off of here um yeah who's this high tower high tower i don't know um i lost a little hook that went here uh not here actually the little hook was supposed to go up here and it becomes like a little little thumb type of thing this crane is actually supposed to go back here which, add, which adds like way too much kibble that's it's already got this thing but with the uh tower thing here it's like it's too much so because i was missing this and I, i'm sure it's in one of my accessory drawers but whatever <laughs> i don't even care uh because i came up with a better thing i i took it i took the thing off of here nice and easy and i placed it through i placed high tower's head straight through this and let's see if i can zoom in there a little bit straight through here so it's like kind of locked into place and now i have a much bigger thumb to work with uh, and now it just came out of the place a little bit but if you just push it through it stays so now i got a bigger thumb to work with here which looks a heck of a lot better than that little thumb did it's a more of a big claw here uh and you get rid of that giant kibble in the back so um I think that's great, personally, because <laughs> I did it. Uh, and it was a nice little solution. So I haven't seen anybody else doing that. Uh, so it's something you'd like to do, you can. We can start here at this hand. It does look pretty cool, um, you know, now that I did that. So you get this nice, big, four-fingered claw thing going on, uh, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, I do. So... Going up through the shoulders here, you can see how that they did it. And I do like that it's the same on both sides. That really helps. Splaying out uh, one of them, I forget which one, Scavenger, 
up here, and this is Overlow down here, matching their colors. It was a nice call. They look really good. One thing I'd like to mention is you could have either uh, this dude down here, I think that's Rampage, uh, who's in like kind of an orangish color, or you could get the more yellow, like these guys, Skipjack, uh, do it. So either way you want to go, it's something you could do. Uh, I already had Rampage by the time they announced Skipjack, uh, and I wasn't, there you go, see? I wasn't going to change that because, again, this is enough money. Why do I need that? And if he has, like, three yellow parts, then I'd want this guy here to, to be yellow, too, just to make it overall uh, look more uniform. And I'm not going to get that, so why bother, you know? So uh, the arms, the hands here being yellow looks really good, you know, makes it feel really good up top and then I don't mind that he has two different shoes basically a green and an orange I think that looks way better and you can tell it's orange compared to this kind of brickish red um, so that's good um, I, I do think that's good you do have some paint up in here you see that got some paint there with some nice sculpting uh, and then the same thing on the other side. And again, these nice uh, gray shoulders really, really work. It really helps that that's uniform and it looks cool straight through the middle here. I do dig it. I like all the molding here. That looks good. That looks good. The wheels, everything is done properly. One of my big complaints is though that this does not attach to anything. Like how did they do that? Like there should have been a clip here that attached here. Like, click, click, something. Something should have attached uh, because this feels really, really loose. And so far, the, the one upgrade kit that's coming out does not address that from what I can see. So that, to me, is a skip because I don't need to pay for something that doesn't address what I consider one of the biggest issues with this piece is that this chest piece just kind of floats there. Um, aesthetics, you know, I don't, I don't really need it to look better than this. And there's some things that it's doing that upgrade kit that I don't really care for. Um, so eh, it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't think I'm getting it. <laughs> um, Going down here, this all looks cool, the crotch piece. Yeah, it gives it the uh, the balls. Um, so there's that. This hand here is, you know, you do get kind of a claw thing going on here as well or something. I don't even know how this is supposed to, it, did this come apart or something? I don't, I don't think so. I guess this is supposed to be some sort of claw here. I feel like I have this discombobulated or something, this hand, but. It's not as cool as this one, that's for sure. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a claw. You know, the thing with something like this, and I and I did this with my Volcanicus review, is once it gets like this and it's all like crazy mishmash of robots together, man, you know, forget us, you know, being accurate. Just make it look as cool as possible. And I definitely want to do something with this hand because there's some weird stuff going on here which could be a little bit better, like this thing just hanging about. Um, so, I don't know. That could be a little cooler. But if it's fine. It works. You know, going down the legs. These are asymmetrical. This is where you see first asymmetrical stuff, except for, obviously, the hands. Um, but that's fine. This design looks cool. You do get this one yellow knee pad. Why they couldn't have given us a one for this side, I don't know. That would have been cool. To have like yellow knee pads I think would have been nice and instead you just get this one little piece that's part of one of these guys I forget which one um, and then you add it there eh. that could have been better oh let's bring this guy a little closer so I really like how this dude and I forget his overload no no overload is this one I forget which guy this is I forget his name who cares the green the green leg here I like how that looks I, I think that looks really cool it's got a nice foot, it's a little, you know, hollow in here, but whatever. Got some blue there, that looks pretty good. 
pull them from the crotch is probably the best. And then uh, here you get some tank threads at the bottom. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if you want to like, keep these up or low, whatever. Um, but you got a little bit of that. The thread looks good. That's what it looks like from the back. Let's take a look. You never want to really see these guys from the back. Because <laughs> um, you got all kinds of things going on. Like that, that should be up here. And then that looks good though. The big wheel here on the back looks pretty good. Let me put them down before it starts falling apart. Uh, I do like this piece hanging out back here. I think that looks pretty good and you get the silver and whatever. Um, so all of that you can see straight inside his head. Um, but that doesn't look terrible. Moving back further so you can see. He's not bad uh, throughout. It's a little bit hollow here, but not so terrible at all. This is a really hard one to maneuver. Uh, but I think it looks decent. Uh, I honestly do. I, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. I see some piece hanging off here that I think should be up. Yeah. So and that's the thing. You got to constantly try to maneuver things to be proper. And what's proper, I don't even know. So, articulation is going to be fun. We'll get that, that in a few. But let's look at the head sculpt because that's where it becomes pretty cool. Let's raise this up a little bit. I do really like this head sculpt. Uh, this is the real monster portion. I like this piece up here uh, with the green and the gray it looks really good this is the extra piece that you pop in there um that looks pretty awesome this head sculpt is really really nice obviously he's got all these like bug eyed looking things going on you know very transformer movie-esque the mouth is crazy the teeth look good you got two rows of teeth on the bottom here which look really good silver paint you got the red on the sides that looks good you got the red all around here and there is some stuff for the head i believe in that upgrade kit that makes it look even better but again i don't know if i need it uh but yeah this is this is cool this is cool i do like it i don't know i i i, I waffle with that upgrade kid we'll see when it comes out uh down here you got a little thing here but this is you know this head sculpt is pretty nice monsterific so this is pretty awesome i think the proportions are crazy but they look good they look the part for the most part yes in the movie he is actually more crouched down uh and uh, there is some mods that you could do some fan modding where you can be able to do that but i'm not gonna do that because i think this guy I, that was one of those things i really actually didn't like about it when i first saw it upright like this it's more menacing uh to me uh i do dig it uh like this upright i think it's way 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 cooler uh it speaks to me more as a devastator as a monster devastator like a really good fighter the other way not as good to me so there you go guys that's that's the the looks department i think overall it's pretty fantastic so articulation, you're going to have to bear with me because this is probably going to be stuff that I'm going to miss here. Uh, but basically, the head's not doing much, but the jaw opens and the little jaw opens as well. So the arms here can move like this. This part here moves. You got a swivel right there. And then uh, ratcheted elbow. But as soon as you start putting anything in this hand, and the ratchets, I, I feel like the ratchets could have been better. That moves. I don't know if this was supposed to move here. Something is falling apart on me here. Maybe it's supposed to move up here. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to move a little bit, right? And then again, that, that, oh. This is on a mushroom peg here, so that's kind of easy to just slip in. 
and it does turn. I don't know if I did that on the other side, but it does turn. And there's the ratchet on that, but things are falling on me, so the fingers do open. We saw this side. Where things are opening up and falling apart. This is not fun to play with. I'm gonna say that right now. This is not a fun play piece. I do not know, does this waist turn? Maybe. I can't do it, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, now the legs. Ratchets this way, ratchets this way. Good. You need that. Even still, this guy has a tendency to go backwards or forwards a little bit uh, right through that. So, yeah. I don't think these move. Um, and then the feet do have, this one does have some pivot. Oh, and this one does too. On a ratchet, so that's nice. So, uh, again. If I miss something, oh well, it's not the biggest deal. Um, I think <laughs> I think if you were gonna get this, you're gonna get this, and if you're not, you're not. And is you know, I don't think one piece of articulation here or there is <laughs> is gonna convince you. Um, this was one of those things. If you didn't want to get it right from the beginning, I feel like you weren't gonna get it because you know uh, the fact that they are coming out. They came out like separately and over a year's worth of time means you really needed to jump on that right away because finding all the pieces at this point might not be that easy. So there's that part of it. For your size comparison, let's start off with some figures you might have in your collection. And here is Monster Devastator with another kaiju that I just reviewed. Transformers Kaiju, uh, Skylinks, and you can see this is a commander class, how much bigger this is. And this is a big, big figure, but man, this is, this is huge. And here he is with some Devastators from uh, my collection. Um, none of these are actually <laughs> like a Hasbro or a Takara. You got a Super 7, you got a Another knockoff from, I forget who, uh, um, the before and after attorney general. No, he's not an attorney general. He's, he's some sort of general. And uh, the cool become Braves scale down uh, combine of wars devastator. So you can see even here how big this devastator is with wise. And my final thoughts. I really like it. The articulation is like, uh, it just makes you crazy. <laughs> just trying to figure out how everything moves um, and, you know, making him, posing him in the right, like, pose is tough. But you know what? At the end of the day, uh, man, I didn't get this for any of that. Like, this guy, I just wanted him because he looks awesome. He looks cool. Uh, he's going to be... I mean, if there's going to be a representation of Monster Devastator on your shelf, this is really a great way to go. I, I know there's a third party one getting together too, but that's going to cost you a lot more overall than this did. Um, and this is pretty awesome. There's an upgrade kit coming. You can make it look even better if you want. Um, you know, as I went through this video, I'm kind of like on the fence. I kind of want to see what the upgrade kit brings all together like how does it make it better I know it's aesthetics are those aesthetics gonna make me like forget some of the other things that I have problems with I don't know uh, I would like to see somebody else try to do another upgrade kit that would be kind of cool to like address like the actual important things about this that would be awesome so I I'm on the lookout for that but I might get the one that's coming out anyway. Well, we shall see. Uh, it's it's gonna depend more on financials when it comes out. I don't think I'm pre-ordering it. But anywho, display-wise, this is awesome anyway. This looks fantastic. I really, really love it. Um, it's taken me a long time to put this together and it does have an awesome wow factor when you do. And all the problems are, you know, you, could th you throw them out the window when you look at it. Um, I do, you know, I, I just love the way it looks. And 
that's why I got it. So, there you go. I love it. <laughs> um, despite the problems, I do love it. Uh, and uh, you'll probably you'll probably see this massive thing on my top one here, but almost almost a guarantee. All right, guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.